and welcome to Slow Saturday. The week has really flown by. But anyway, at least we settled. Everything in the house has been unpacked, found a place. No more boxes standing around. Okay, there's one box standing around. Two. One must be sent to my son in the Cape. And the other one must be collected by hospice. It's got books in. But everything that should be here has been packed out and we are very happy. I'm just waiting for a new desk which will be delivered on Tuesday. And then I will have a nicer workspace. Hmm. And then I will have a table that I need to get rid of. Ugh. One of those. Okay, so what have I been doing this week? I've been netting in the evenings. Um, the stripy got a cardigan that's still in need of a name is nearly at the split between the body and the sleeves we nearly there it's a little raglan cardigan and i'm playing with moya shimmer tots these little tot bowls are just 10 grams of each color why i decide to do things like this I don't know. I always start with something variegated or something stripy that really makes it complicated and yet I so enjoy it. Anyway, so the challenge here is that the rows are getting longer. It's a little top-down garter cardigan. So I didn't want um, all the stripes to be the same width. So I am being very... Um, uh, innovative blending the colors in this purple stripe i blended in three different balls of purple and i'm currently blending three different balls of this light if you if i hold it like this you can see it's different shades but the this um, <clears throat> light turquoise greenish color is blending much better than the purple but i couldn't care i still like it so i'm blending them to make broader stops okay so i did however order um a few balls of one color that i want to use for the ribbing down and the edges on the sleeves and so just to give it a a nice finished look but the rest of it is all tops and um it is difficult because you don't know how much yarn you have you don't know if it's going to make another row or two rows at least because i change color on the right side row so every time i take a new tot one of our daughters is um, a goldsmith and um, <clears throat> her little champion jewelry scale is now with me and it can measure very finely so I measure the tot before I start the row in the beginning so that I know more or less where I am now, how much yarn goes into a row and then at the end of the row I weigh it again so then I can keep track of my yarn usage so that I don't start a row and not have enough yarn to finish it because that's going to restrict me. So yeah, there's a competition going on on um, Facebook and um, Instagram. I posted there, I'm looking for name suggestions for this little cardigan. Um, it's it's going to be a little v-neck cardigan that then buttons up to the bottom. Shortish one, short sleeves for me anyway, because I want to wear it over a camisole. But you can make long sleeves if you want. Um, so if you have a name for this huge stripy fun creation that I'm working on, um, the name that I will pick three names from all the suggestions that I really like and then I will post that in a secret a separate post later this weekend and um, then we see which ones get the most which one get the most likes and that person can get the pattern for free so it's just a little bit of fun sometimes it's it's very I don't know what to, what to call the things. I run out of creativity as far as names are concerned. I'm very creative with yarn. I'm not creative with picking names. And I'm definitely not creative with photography. Yeah. Okay. So this one, um, it should be out and available within the next two weeks or so. At the latest by the end of the month. 
because I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to sit this afternoon. Um, our youngest daughter is here for the weekend. So nice. We went for a nice Indian meal last night. Absolutely divine. And um, we're going to grab a breakfast just now. And then this afternoon we're going to park in the bride room and we're going to sit and kayer there. So then I'm going to knit. So I'm definitely going to get past the split today. So within the next two weeks the pattern should be available. The testers are hot on my heels anyway. So when that is done, I have now I always take out a yarn for the next project. And I place it somewhere where I can see it. That looking at that motivates me to keep on going with what I'm busy with so that I can finish it and start the new one. That's my motivation. So I've taken out these blue label bamboo that I took over from my bestie Alta. You will see that there's um, a few shades of pink in here. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like. I've never worked with it before, but it's it's quite a low twist. I see it's it's quite a splitty yarn, but um, I think I'll be fine. I've got um, an idea of what I want to make. I want something with lace. I think lace on the sleeves and maybe a lace border around here and at the bottom, or maybe lace just at the back or something. I don't know. But I want to bring in lace somewhere and um, yeah, I'll make myself another top. But it's it's not, there's an idea in my head, but there isn't yet a picture in my head that's going to take a while. Yeah. Okay, so that's about the only news I have. Yeah, the lock cabin patches is the design for the blocks have now been done um, the testers are still testing it's only the border that needs to be done but like i said that one is going to come out next year in march we're going to start the um, crochet along for the lock cabin patches now if you don't know what lock cabin patches is if you haven't been following the podcast for a while I wanted to design a blanket that has different sized blocks in it, so it looks like a babette, but it's made in one piece. It was quite a challenge, but the idea I had worked out just fine, so it's looking lovely. Different colors, different stitch patterns, different sized blocks, but all done in one piece in a lock cabin fashion. And I'm very excited about that one. I think it's going to be absolutely marvelous. So, okay. By the time I see you next week, maybe I can show you a finished garter cardigan. You never know. Um, sorry for missing last week. Last week was the last weekend that we were really motoring in this house, trying to sort everything out and get a place for everything. And I'm so glad we're done. Moving house is really, it's really traumatic. Goodness me. And it's a lot of work. And, you know, we're now at the age where the children are all big. They've left the house. So there's not, there's not um, extra hands in the household that can make the unpacking a bit easier. We don't have full-time domestic workers or anything like that anymore. So it was all up to us. And um, what happened last week is there's an area outside here that my husband wanted to put all his tools. It's a little space between the outbuilding and the house he wanted to put a roof over there so that he's got more space and um, I actually helped him last Saturday to get the beams for the roof up and um, we're going to put the roof up today so then he's got space for his tool so last Saturday was just I was the handyman's assistant and it just ran away with me so today we're going to go shopping, we're going to have a nice breakfast, we're going to have a slow, slow Saturday because everything in the house is unpacked. It's the first slow Saturday, real, real slow Saturday in a long time. Okay. You must have a fabulous week. Um, give me a suggestion for a name for the God God again. And um, yeah. 
I hope I can get a picture for this one soon. I really like the feel of it. I think it's lovely. I think it's going to have a very, very nice drape to it. So, yeah. I'll see you next week.